I mean, really, on the face of it, what does this mean in real terms? It can hardly be a surprise that these senior government members are, are not going to be welcome in Moscow. Yeah, I mean, that's right. So thanks for having me, by the way. Um, yeah, you're, you're right. I mean, this has to be seen in the context of especially the events this week where you've had... You know, Putin's had a, a bad week. Uh, the, um, he's lost his flagship in the Black Sea, uh, uh, of the Black Sea Fleet. Uh, the war isn't going uh, particularly well for him. It's going badly for him. And, and therefore, and you have the prospect of Sweden and, and Finland joining NATO. So he has to do something in order to show, in order to, to you know, show his defiance to the West and, mm. and, and NATO. So, um, so, 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 yeah, I mean, this is, this is re- rhetoric. It's for a, a domestic audience, I, I think. And, yes, it's, it's not a surprise. It's interesting that you say it's for a domestic audience, and I suppose that would go down well. He's coming over very strong and saying Boris Johnson is not welcome. But he's also saying, isn't he, you know, even if there was a prospect of peace talks at some stage, we ain't going to sit down with you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, that's, that's, certain, that's certainly the case. I mean, um, at the moment, you know, if you look at the, the, the various crimes that are being committed, you know, the fact that, um, you know, Putin has invaded a, a sovereign state um, and Putin is, is very much adamant and, and vehement in, in, in his objectives and, and prosecuting the war, then, yes, there's, there's very little room for negotiation at the moment.